The famous Sarcosuchus and Dinosuchus were gigantic relatives of today's crocodilians capable of killing large dinosaurs. However, during the Jurassic period, before either of these species evolved, there lived another, large, semi-aquatic relative of crocodilians. Named Machamosaurus, it hunted along the coast of what is now Europe and Africa from the late Jurassic to the early Cretaceous. Machamosaurus was found in Switzerland during 1837. It is named after the Machamoi, a type of low-ranking Egyptian soldier of the Hellenistic Ptolemy dynasty. Rather than consisting of one species, like many other prehistoric genera, Machamosaurus included at least five. These were Machamosaurus noachanus, Machamosaurus mose, Machamosaurus bufutati, Machamosaurus hugai, and Machamosaurus rex. Most of these were restricted to the late Jurassic period, though Machamosaurus rex lived during the early Cretaceous. The species of Machamosaurus varied in size. The type species, Machamosaurus hugai, was about 6.9 meters long, making it perhaps the largest known crocodiliomorph from the entire Jurassic period. The only Jurassic crocodile relative that may have been larger was the terrestrial Nodosuchian Raisian androgobe, who was only known from parts of a skull. When Machamosaurus rex was first found, it was thought to be nearly 9 meters long, though more recent estimates place it as a little over 7 meters long. The reason for this initial overestimate was because the calculations used were based on crocodilians. However, Machamosaurus had a proportionately larger head than its modern relations, inflating the results. Like the more famous Sarcosuchus, Machamosaurus was technically not a true crocodilian, but a crocodiliomorph, the larger clade crocodilians are a part of. While many crocodiliomorphs never evolved to become amphibious, others, the Neosuchians, were already very much like the crocodilians. These species are not classified as crocodilians only because they are not part of the crown group formed by modern crocodilians. However, many of Machamosaurus's crocodilian-like attributes may be the result of convergent evolution. While the clade it belongs to, Thalatosuchia, has traditionally been placed in Neosuchia, some recent research suggests they are more distant relations who took to the water independently. Whether or not Machamosaurus's crocodilian-like appearance was the result of common ancestry or convergence, there were some critical differences between it and crocodilians besides skull proportions. Thalatosuchians, like Machamosaurus, were better adapted to living and hunting in the open ocean than most other crocodiliomorphs. While some Thalatosuchians, the fully aquatic Metrorhynchids, took this to an extreme, those belonging to the clade Teleosauridae, including Machamosaurus, were still able to come ashore. Still, with its smaller legs, Machamosaurus was not as well adapted to terrestrial locomotion as modern crocodilians. In the water, these legs were mostly used for steering, while its tail was its main source of propulsion. Machamosaurus is the namesake of Machamosauridae, a smaller clade within Teleosauridae. This clade is well named, as Machamosaurus was the apex of their evolutionary path. Most teleosaurids, including early members of Machamosauridae, were slender, with long snouts specialized for catching small prey such as fish. Over time, the Machamosaurids evolved to become larger, more heavily built, and possess shorter snouts. Of these, Machamosaurus was the largest and most deadly. Machamosaurus's teeth were rounded, blunt, and conical, suggesting it primarily subsisted on prey that was large or had hard shells. Fossil bite marks confirm such a diet. Marine turtle fossils from the same time and place as Machamosaurus have been found with bite marks matching those of its distinctive teeth, sometimes with the teeth even still embedded within them. 
Its bite marks have also been found on the bones of the sauropod dinosaur Ceatosauriscus, though whether this was the result of scavenging or hunting is unknown. Other marine reptiles, such as smaller Thalatosuchians and plesiosaurs, were also likely on the menu. When it was first found, Machamosaurus rex was the first teleosaurid known from the entire Cretaceous period. This was a very significant discovery. It was once proposed there was a mass extinction at the end of the Jurassic period, similar to those at the end of the Triassic and Cretaceous periods. This hypothesis has received criticism, as many of the clades proposed to have gone extinct at the end of the Jurassic period seem to have gone extinct much more gradually than initially proposed. The discovery of Machamosaurus rex provided further evidence against such a large extinction event, as it shows the teleosaurids did not die out suddenly. Another hypothesis is that most of the other teleosaurids died out due to a more local event. By the beginning of the Cretaceous period, the oceans around what would become Europe, which is where most teleosaurids have been found, began to cool. This wasn't a problem for most of the large marine reptiles, who were at least partially endothermic, or warm-blooded. On the other hand, teleosaurids like Machamosaurus were ectotherms, possessing a more crocodilian-like metabolism that made them reliant on the external environment for thermal regulation. A shift to cooler temperatures could have easily made this environment unsuitable for them. This may be why Machamosaurus rex hasn't been found in Europe. While not as large as Sarcosuchus or Dinosuchus, Machamosaurus was a survivor, and the largest amphibious crocodiliomorph the world had yet seen. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something interesting. Have a great day, and if you enjoyed the video, please remember to hit the like button.